need to talk to somebody who's in Washington, D.C., who kind of has a, a, a bead on these things. We welcome to the center ring Congresswoman Debbie Lesko. Congresswoman, what the heck is going on? <laughs> the Biden administration and the Democrats in control since Biden got in office is what's going on. This is awful absolutely awful and i hope that americans are waking up to what has been going on under one party democrat rule since biden got in office i mean everything as you said i mean the department of justice and fbi are again once again going on a witch hunt after president trump they're seizing a cell phone from a sitting u.s congress member for no reason they didn't call his lawyers or anything they didn't even call him and ask him to turn over his phone otherwise he said he would have um as you said in the democrats new bill that they pushed through the senate and are going to push through the house uh tomorrow they're they're doubling the size of the IRS. There's going to add 87,000 more IRS agents. And, you know, they're going to go after the low-hanging fruit. They're not going to go after the companies that have um, tons of corporate lawyers. They're going to go after the people that can't afford to hire lawyers to collect more money from them. It's just insane. It's absolute insanity. And people need to realize that they need to vote for Republicans in November so we can take back the majority because if we do take back the majority we still have to deal with president biden but we'll be able to do investigative hearings on the department of justice on the fbi on the cdc on the fda on all of these agencies that have gone amok under the biden administration congresswoman let's go uh, here's here's what we really want to know because is it true that there's not even one democrat one Democrat in the House, let alone three or four, who see the danger of, of, of spending money like this on, on IRS agents. I mean, for that money, we could put armed guards in every elementary school in the country. Is there no one that can make these correlations and, and put a stop to it? Well, you know, we'll find out tomorrow. We're voting in the House tomorrow on Friday. Um, my guess is that they will have the votes. The Democrats will have the votes. The margin is close. So there's expected that every Republican will vote and every Democrat will be voting. Um, but one thing I've learned, Nancy Pelosi has a lot of power and she makes sure that her folks are in line. So I expect they're going to have the votes to pass this. It's really unfortunate because you have, um, you know, America is at stake. This, this bill that they're going to pass tomorrow out of the House that's already passed out of the Senate is $745 billion of new spending. Uh, there's $248 billion more for Obamacare subsidies, um, and these subsidies are expanded. So they're expanded to people that are making more money, um, which is, was not under the original Obamacare bill. So you could make up to $200,000 family of four and still get subsidies under the Obamacare in this bill. There's also $400 billion for Green New Deal, $80 billion for the IRS to double their size. This is insanity. It is insanity, and as you, we listen to you just tick these things off, you know, your spirit just gets lower and lower because this is going to put the, the country in a place where, well, can we return? It, it seems like we're furthering the transition into the green new energy, which is a farce. Uh, it sounds like we're going to arm uh, the, the IRS and make them the another shock troop for the Democrat Party. If the Republicans take back the House and the Senate, can these things be reversed? Well, we certainly can bring them to light, and we'll have more leg leverage over President Biden. Now, unfortunately, he's doing a lot of things by executive order and using his agencies to do a lot of things. Just last week, the, I the Democrats sent a letter to the IRS asking them to investigate the Conservative Family Research Council, which has been around for years. This is what we're concerned about, not only the spending the adding to our debt, um, the irresponsible spending, but also how they are weaponizing all of their agencies to attack everyday Americans, to attack U.S. 
produced oil and gas industry to go beg Saudi Arabians and Venezuela to produce more gas is absolute insanity. We are at a major crossroads in America. And the Biden administration and Democrats have run this nation now since January of 2021. And since January 20 of 21, the prices of gasoline have gone up consistently each and every month, way before uh, the U- Ukraine was invaded by Russia. It's kept going up. The, the crime is increasing. Our border is wide open. It is one crisis after another. Um, we have to get some control back in this country. I, you know, people are saying it's a banana republic. It is. This is scary, scary times. It and, is scary um, time. It's, it, what I, you just I said. Really, yeah. I can't. I can't emphasize enough how important this upcoming election is. We'll still have to deal with Biden. But we'll be able to have leverage with the budget for his agencies if we have control. And we'll be able to hold hearings to bring to light some of the abuses that have been going on by the Biden administration. Well, well, I'll tell you what, uh, Congresswoman Lesko, uh, what you said is just laid it out beautifully of what we're up against. And uh, we have to, as I've been saying, keep uh, on our knees praying and make sure that we get to the ballot box. That is the best way to reverse the madness that is happening in Washington, D.C. right now with one party rule. I want to thank you very much for for filling us in on what's happening out in D.C. today. Well, thank you. I wish I could give you better news, but I hopefully in November we can change the course.